The longest runways in the world aren't at John F. Kennedy International Airport, London Heathrow, or Edwards Air Force Base. They're on the spinning wheels in Goodyear test labs in Akron, Ohio, and Colmar Baird, Luxembourg. On these moving runways, Goodyear aircraft tires are thoroughly tested before they ever reach a real runway. Whatever the aircraft, the only way to safely prove that a tire can cope with the stresses and strains of aviation use is to subject it to exactly those forces in the laboratory. Goodyear Aerodynamics Laboratories have complete facilities to simulate the physical effects of any environment an aircraft tire will encounter, from initial loading conditions to taxi out, takeoff, in-flight, landing, and taxi in. Because of tests like these, and continuous improvements made in new designs and technology, Goodyear aircraft tires are wearing better and lasting longer, despite tremendous increases in aircraft weights and takeoff speeds. Military aircraft are always at the forefront of developments in aviation technology. Goodyear initially developed radial tires for military use. Goodyear radial aircraft tires were first to fly on U.S. and British Harrier attack jets, and then became the first radials to fly on aircraft in scheduled airline service. With takeoff speeds faster than a Formula One race car at full throttle, and loads greater than the heaviest earth-moving machinery, Aircraft tires take incredible punishment and represent the ultimate challenge for the tire designer. As Goodyear continues to develop the radial construction for aviation applications, we are also incorporating many of these technological advancements into our proven lines of bias tires. At Goodyear Technical Centers in Akron, proprietary computer programs have been developed to assist tire engineers in the enormously complex task of analyzing the many trade-offs inherent in aircraft tire design. By the flick of a switch, tire engineers design new aircraft tires, incorporate newly developed materials and new manufacturing techniques, and then test their designs at various loads, runway speeds, and inflation pressures all on the computer. When these modal simulations yield promising results, experimental tires are constructed to resume testing, this time in the physical world. Tire development is also supported with data provided by our field engineers, collecting details on individual tire performance in actual operations, number of takeoffs, wear, user conditions, This continuing close liaison worldwide between research engineers and aircraft tire users is another vital part of a highly sophisticated program of tire development. Goodyear's commitment to the continued advance of tire technology includes a $15 million investment in radial manufacturing equipment to complement our bias ply tire production plant in Danville, Virginia. Unlike automobile tires, Aircraft tires are made mostly of natural rubber instead of synthetic rubber because of natural rubber's better heat resistance. Natural rubber is first mixed with sulfur, carbon black, and other chemicals to give it better strength and resiliency. The blended stock is milled into sheets and fed into an extruder that forms aircraft tire tread materials. Plies of extra strength nylon fabric are combined with rubber to form the layers of rubberized fabric that go into the body of the tire. The next step is to the tire builder, who actually constructs the tire. Though highly automated, the construction process requires the hands of highly skilled craftsmen. A great deal of care and hard work go into building an aircraft tire. 
One indication of the time and effort required to build an aircraft tire is the fact that a Goodyear tire builder can build 36 automobile tires in the same amount of time it takes to build just one of these tires for a 747-400. The tire is then molded and shaped in a curing press. Tightly controlled limits of time, temperature, and pressure are applied to vulcanize the component parts into a tough yet resilient final form. A full battery of quality control checks through every phase of the manufacturing process assure the highest quality standards. From the huge 49 by 1922 tire weighing 267 pounds to our smallest aircraft tire weighing just four pounds. Whatever their size, aircraft tires leaving Goodyear tire plants face special challenges. Loads hundreds of times their own weight. Flexing as much as 1,500 times a minute as they roll. It is this flexing and heat that is a tire's biggest enemy, not the impact of hard landings. The body of an aircraft tire can still have many hundreds of landings left after the original tread rubber is worn away. Without retreading, tires would have to be discarded long before their useful lives are over. Retreading is an increasingly critical factor in the economic life of an aircraft tire with some tires capable of being retreaded as many as 10 times or more. Tires are identified by serial number. Careful records are kept throughout the life of a tire to show how many times it has been retreaded and to make sure it goes back to its original owner. Each tire is inspected both visually and by air injection. The air injected into the sidewall quickly enables the retreader to spot ply separations and inner liner leaks. What is left of the tire's worn tread is buffed down to its under tread, which will serve as the foundation for a new layer of reinforced rubber. The new tread rubber is precisely applied using an orbit tread extruding machine. The tire is then statically balanced before going to the curing press for vulcanization. Advancements in the retreading process include holographic laser photography. This computer-controlled, non-destructive test for the tire carcass reveals even the most minor areas of ply separation. Holography can be applied to the finished retread or to the incoming carcass to a specification determined jointly with the end user. At each of the world's major airports, there's an aircraft taking off or landing every 30 seconds. Almost three million people travel by air every day of the year, along with more than 50,000 tons of freight. In the free world, there are more than one quarter million aircraft movements every 24 hours, traveling to every corner of the globe. In this highly competitive industry, Profitability depends on the control of maintenance costs and the minimization of downtime. From London to Los Angeles, Atlanta to Australia, Bangkok to Brazil, there are over 30 sales and service locations worldwide dedicated to provide fast, efficient, and cost-effective support to operators. Inventory, distribution, documentation, maintenance, service, technical support, and state-of-the-art product innovations. Everything you'd expect from the industry leader. Ready to help you keep them flying.